In this video, we will learn how to use the free, fast Fourier transform function, available on engineertomorrow.com. This function allows you to input a one-dimensional time and signal vector, and get the frequency and amplitude content of the spectrum in the same units as the input signal. For example, if you have a voltage input signal vector, you will get the amplitude of the frequency spectrum in voltage. So let's get started. Before we use the function, we need to create a signal for the FFT. In our case, we will be using a sampling frequency of 1000 samples per second. The sample time, or time increments, will be 1 over the sampling frequency. The measurement time is 1 second. We can determine the size of the time signal by dividing the measurement time by the incremental time. Next we create the two vectors used in the function. The time signal is time from zero to the measurement time by the incremental time step. We create a voltage signal that is comprised of a 120 Hz and a 60 Hz sinusoid, where the 120 Hz signal has an amplitude of 1 volt and the 60 Hz signal has an amplitude of 0.5 volts. Plotting the signal, we get the following. Now we are going to perform the fast Fourier transform of the signal. To use the function, use the time vector and the voltage signal as inputs. Inside the function, the time step, sampling frequency, and length of each vector are first calculated. Using the length and the signal, we perform the MATLAB FFT function on it. The reason this function is necessary is because the output of the MATLAB FFT is not in a form we desire. Several changes need to be done to get the correct amplitudes. Since the output FFT is a complex number, the magnitude must first be determined. This is done by taking the absolute value of the complex amplitude. Since the output is also a double-sided spectrum, we can look at one side and multiply it by two. In the last step, the frequency increment is determined. The frequency range is equal to the Nyquist frequency, and is determined using lens pace. Finally, the amplitude and frequency outputs are plotted inside the function. This can be turned off if you wish by commenting out the plotting lines. So there you have it, a function that provides the true amplitude frequency of a signal. From here, the RMS value can be determined by dividing the voltage amplitude by the square root of 2. We hope you enjoy our function. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our posts.